Hello Oracle Database world, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I am going to show you how to um, do some basic PLSQL programming. And this video is going to show you how to produce output with a PLSQL program. Now, what is PLSQL? Well, PLSQL stands for Procedural Language uh, forward slash Structured Query Language, and that's PLSQL. It's spelled like that. Now, PLSQL um, is proprietary to Oracle. Think of it as the Oracle programming language. SQL, structured query language, is not proprietary or specific to Oracle. It is the standard language used by RDBMS software products, relational database management systems, that is, products, um, for um, modifying data in a database. Okay? And PL, the PL extension of SQL is Oracle's programming language in the sense of it adds functionality to SQL that a, that a traditional programming language would have, such as um, condition testing with if statements, uh, loops, like until loops, for loops, while loops, things like that, uh, function calls, and other things. Okay, so it's um, programs have been entirely um, written. Uh, end user applications in PLSQL. You know, I've written I've written a lot of them for for, for people, and you know, they they, they really do a lot. Um, the PLSQL um, the PLSQL execution engine, I should say, is located in the Oracle database kernel itself. It's not an external. It's also not a standalone program. It's not like C, where you can compile a program, and as long as it was compiled on the right platform, you can move the executable around, or even a not really a standalone program, but more standalone than PLSQL, Java, where you can write a Java program, compile it, and then run it as long as you have a Java virtual machine running on a computer, okay, JRE. All right, PLSQL requires the Oracle database to run. So I'm just going to show you an example of um, writing a PLSQL program and uh, showing you uh, how to get it to print out output. And uh, every programming language has has an ability to do so. You got the echo or print commands in shell scripting, and Unix on the Unix or Linux systems. You have the system dot out dot print line statement in uh, Java, or you have the print f command statement in C programming. So it really depends on what language you're utilizing. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure we're set, and let's log in by SQL plus database by SQL plus. Let's do a show user to show that we're connected as the sys user. And let's do select name from the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the correct database, which is finance. And we know that it's up and running, which means it's open and ready to go. Okay, so to the first thing you need to do, if you have a PLSQL program, okay, and you want to display output. Now, there are two types of PLSQL programs, and you know, view my other videos on PLSQL to really get more in depth on these topics, but there are two types of PLSQL programs in Oracle. There's anonymous PLSQL blocks, and then there's named PLSQL blocks. Now, I'm using the term blocks because PLSQL are programmed in blocks, which you'll see, blocks of code. That's the structure. There's a certain structure you must follow when putting a PLSQL, when writing a PLSQL program, okay? Um, named blocks are stored in the database. The source code is stored in the database, and you can you call them at any time. And it can also be implemented in. Um, it can also be implemented as other as other things, triggers, functions, procedures, and see my videos on those things specifically to see how that how 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 they relate. Okay, but what we're going to do now is we're going to execute an anonymous block, which means that Oracle does not know about it. Oracle is just going to execute it, and you can't execute it again unless you type in the source code again. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and if you want to display output um, via an anonymous PLSQL block program, you need to run the following command first. This is a set command which sets an SQL plus parameter uh, server output to on. Okay, so you need to tell the database that you want it to display output with PLSQL blocks. And how you do that is with the following command. Set server output on. So set server output one string on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to execute our, we're going to run our first PLSQL program. Very basic. Every SQL program 
starts with a begin. Okay. Now we're gonna now we're going to use the following command to tell PLSQL and Oracle that we want to output something. BMS underscore output dot put underscore line open paren single quote hello world. Hello world is a standard first example of any programming language when you learn any programming language just about at least all the language books that I've read. So hello world and then we're going to close the single quote and then we're going to close the uh, parenthesis and add a semicolon. So basically what we're doing here is we're calling the dbms underscore output plsql package and we're calling the put underscore line procedure in this package. Okay, but don't worry about that. Okay, now to end um, the main block, if you will, okay, for my Java and C programmers out there, you type an end semicolon and to tell Oracle to, that you're ready to execute, that you're done writing it, you type in a forward slash like this. And there you go. It says hello world, and then Oracle does like what it does at the end of every PLSQL block that you execute. If it's successful, it says PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Okay? So we set server output on because we're telling Oracle that, or SQL Plus more specifically, that we want to display the output in our PLSQL block. We're starting a block with begin. We're using the dbms underscore output dot put underscore line statement, if you will, uh, line here. And we're ending our block, and we're telling Oracle to execute. And here it is: "Hello world." So that's how you out. That's this. That's your first simple uh, PLSQL video on how to uh, display output, which is the first video in just about all the uh, programming languages. Well, the first tutorial.